Hola, scientists. Happy Tuesday. I missed you so much yesterday. Do you know why we had the day off? Bravo. Some of you knew. Yesterday, we had the day off to honor the life and accomplishments of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I don't think Dr. King considered himself to be a scientist, but he did act like one. He asked questions, solved problems, made observations, and helped people. I really hope you get to learn more about him in your classrooms because he is very interesting and the changes he helped make still affect us today. You know, speaking of changes, I wanted to share with all of you a cool little experiment that I did over the winter break. I grew a plant. Now, this wasn't completely random. I had a reason. Before the break, my school's garden teacher gave out growing kits. We received seeds, soil, and tools for planting the seeds. I was really interested in the pea plant seeds that I got. They looked really odd. I decided to look up how they looked fully grown. And scientists, I was so confused. Well, let us show you the pictures. Do you see what I mean? How does it go from seed to plant like that? It got me thinking, what do plants look like while they're growing? And in order to answer the question, I had to immediately start my work. I already had the supplies necessary to plant the seeds and grow them, but then I had a scientific problem. I remembered that scientists ask questions, which I had, they make observations, which I was doing, and they record their thinking. Scientists, since I started this over the break, I didn't have my scientific notebook, which I keep in my classroom. I, I wasn't going to be able to record my observations. What if I wanted to make a five census chart? Scientists need to record their observations and questions, so I knew I was going to have to make a notebook. So I did. This is my homemade scientific notebook. My students and I each made our own at the beginning of the school year, but like I said, I had left mine in the classroom. So this week, we're going to make science notebooks, and these notebooks are going to help us answer our question. Oops, maybe I should tell you the question of the week. That way we can get started. The question I have for us, is how do scientists remember their observations and learning? We're going to start answering our question today by making notebooks. And over the next few days, we'll do activities that will hopefully lead us to learn more about how we can remember our learning. Scientists, in order for us to make our notebooks, you will need several sheets of paper, a pencil, coloring utensils, and if you have them, a stapler and tape. If you don't have those items, go get some scissors. You'll see. Go ahead and gather your materials and supplies so we can get started. I got scissors, uh, I got my plant, coloring utensils, all right. Great, we're gonna start by folding all of our papers in half. We wanna fold them crosswise because it looks like a booklet this way. We're not gonna fold them this way. That feels good. I like to put one hand down and then slowly move it and keep a couple fingers down, corner to corner, and then slide and press. Now, if you have a stapler, you could staple the booklet together on the folded part, not on this side. <laughs> then you can cut pieces of tape to cover the staples. They can be pretty sharp. If you don't have these tools but have scissors, follow along with me. We're gonna make four cuts in two folds. Watch how I do it, and then I want you to try it out. So you're gonna go on the folded part and do four cuts. Two close together, one, two, and then another two farther apart, one, two, and then two folds, one, two. Viste? Did you see? Go ahead and try it out. Make sure to really fold the papers and you can use the pencil to fortify it. You can watch me do that. So you get the end of the pencil, and just really press down on that fold. Oof. Need to press these down too. And there's your new notebook. 
On the cover, which is this side here, we're going to write Blank's science notebook. I'm going to write mine. And this is in case anybody finds it and wants to know what this is. Let's use red. Maestra. Mesas. I'm going to do a different color. Science. Notebook. Great. Make sure to write your own name at the beginning, not Maestra Mesa. You could decorate this later when we're done setting it up. So we're now going to open our brand new notebooks and get ready for all of our learning. This first page is going to be our table of contents page. Do any of my scientists know what a table of contents is for? Ah, some of you did. Yes, this page tells you what the book contains or what is in it. We're going to write that on top and then we will and that will be all for now. So, table of contents. Uh, now, <laughs> we're going to move on to the next page. I was hoping we could replicate, that means copy, the experiment I did with my plant. I took pictures of the plant throughout the process, so I think we can do that. It'll feel like you were actually there. Let's see, do you remember what question I had about plants? It was after I showed you pictures of the seeds and the plant. <gasps> yes! My question was, what do plants look like when they're growing? Let's write that in our next page of our, first, of our science notebooks. First, we'll post the date on the top so we can remember when we wrote this. So, January 19th, 2021. Oof, I almost wrote 2020. What do plants look like while they are growing? All right, let's read what we wrote. January 19th, 2021. What do plants look like while they're growing? Buenísimo trabajo. We will have to stop here for today, but tomorrow we can start answering this question. Well, scientists, we did a lot today. We launched our question, how do scientists remember their observations and learning? And we made notebooks together. <laughs> I gave you a question that guided me in my experiment, but later I want you to come up with questions that you have about plants and write them in your notebook. If you would like to and can, please share a picture of your notebook with me by using the submission link. Thank you for learning with me today, scientists. Tomorrow, we will continue, continue to learn how we, scientists, remember our learning. Enjoy the rest of the show, y nos vemos mañana.